Hello YouTube, today we're doing a custom on a 1964 Nova Gasser Wagon. This is the Hot Wheels 2019 version and we're going to get started. So we're going to use acetone, brush on the car to loosen up that glue and pop that car right on out of there so we can reuse the package later. This car is great right out of the package. I really like the color, the graphics, and the stance, how everything sits on it. But I wanted to do something a little bit classier today, so we're going to go with a just a straight up custom color red and maybe some real riders, do a little bit uh, to the interior. We'll see what happens. All right, well, we're going to drill out the post with a 256 drill bit. Then we'll use a bigger bit to pop the tops off the mushrooms of the post. We're filing it down so we can put the base back on it easier without having any issues and then we're going to tap it with a 256 tap. Now it's time to strip. Where'd that bug come from? does not take long at all for that paint to start bubbling right off there. We're going to go ahead and brush it off and then see what's underneath. I hope this is a good casting. The better casting, the better the results will be. As far as paint quality, if we're going to use like a candy or a transparent type paint. But today we're going to use a Createx creation that I had made by three different other colors that I had extra laying around, mixed them together, and made this custom color, which I absolutely love. The body looks like it's in great shape. There's no major flaws or flashing or anything that I can see. So we're gonna go ahead and take soap, water, four out steel wool, polish this car right up, and then we'll do some buffing and polishing, see if we can't get a mirror-like shine on it. We got the rotary tool ready. We're gonna go ahead and put some mother's polish on here and we will polish it with a buffing wheel. This here is actually a buffing bowl that I bought off eBay, and I'm not going to suggest it. Uh, they're extremely dangerous. Don't ask me how. Here it is, all polished up. Man, this thing turned out good. It's a mirror shine. The casting was great, and there was no flaws. So this is going to be an easy restoration custom. I masked the bottom off and the radiator support so it looks like that it is polished stainless or chrome and then I went ahead and masked off the interior so I could go ahead and paint it a white and paint the headers white too because that's what uh, I've seen done in the gasser community. Speaking of gasser community, me and my dad are building a 1955 Chevy two-door handyman delivery gasser. It's going to be a big block Chevy, ton of Ram 24s gonna be a beautiful car hopefully I'll get some of these videos or pictures later on as that channel gets a little bit better this is the first one I've ever done so it's a it's kind of weird doing a voiceover I don't know if I like it or not but uh, it's something I'll get used to I'll figure it out 
Hell yeah, that's a Harbor Freight gun. It's cheap. Let the haters start commenting in three, two, one. I'm going to do some details here. I went ahead and did a black wash, did the grill, did parts of the engine. Damn it, Dipsy, shut up. Sorry about that. We're going to go on to airbrushing here, and this is the paint that I had made up from transparent deep red, pearlized gold, and a mixture of transparent yellow and I absolutely love how this thing turned out it turned into like a copper but when you get into the Sun it turns gold I really dig this Createx water-based airbrush paint I ended up clearing this car with a automotive urethane clear that I had left over from some actual car restorations we've done in the past. I gave this thing about three coats, a couple real light coats and then one real heavy coat. Made sure I got everything covered and look at that red, copper, orange color. I need a real car with this paint job. Went ahead and jumped on the bandwagon here. I've seen everybody else use floor polish, so I went ahead and used floor polish on this one too. This is Pledge Revive Floor Care. And I didn't think it would be as nice as it is, but man, that thing had a shine like you wouldn't believe. Seriously, all you do is dip this thing, let it sit, cover it up so it doesn't get anything stuck in it, and you're good to go. I went ahead and cleared this thing outside since I don't have my airbrush booth set up. Uh, this is actually car clear. It is a urethane, and I wanted you guys to see what it looked like outside in the sun with a, with a gold sheen to it. This is about four heavy coats of clear, and... I think it turned out beautiful. So I tried to do everything on a budget and I went to a garage sale and I had bought this toaster oven for like five bucks and it works great for baking. Yeah, I know my terrier was white. I didn't like it so I thought it'd be classier if I went ahead and went with a tan interior. And yes, this is tan. I have no idea why it looks green on the, uh, on the screen here but eh, it's tan. I feel like I'm about to upset the community uh, of Hot Wheels because from what I've seen online, this is the Sam Walton Walmart wheels. I took them off the truck. I bought a few of those trucks so I could use them as wheel swaps. I'm going to go ahead and use them on the base of this car for a gasser. Uh, I'm going to turn the tires inside out so there's no white lettering. Pop those things right in there. Uh, I'm going to run a little bit of glue on there so they'll stick. detailed the uh, base of this thing the ladder bars the uh, front end suspension everything with a silver sharpie I didn't think I need to go any farther than that I just found this trick and I absolutely love it you uh, dab a little bit of super glue onto whatever you need to glue together and then you add some baking soda to it and it automatically solidifies it so it makes it rock hard and you can sand it do whatever you want to it just seconds after you uh, put the glue on there. Usually when I do this, I glue my fingers together and not what I want done. I found me some sweet torque thrust twos on here I put on for the front. I have no idea where they came from. They're probably M2 or something. And here we go, we got all the pieces. We got the body, the base, the interior, the glass. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. I'm going to put that sweet glass in there, the interior that looks green but is actually tan. I'm going to snap it in there as well as the base and screw it together and then we'll have the reveal.
And here's a reminder of what it looked like before. Take a good look at it because it's totally different. And here she is. Looks a little bit classier. There's no uh, no lettering down the side or anything. Just looks like an original car, but it's turned into a gasser, which is exactly what I was going for on this build. Uh, this is Diecast Outcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, what you would do different. Uh, I don't mind the criticism, I would like to see what everybody thinks. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.